Okay, so in this experiment, we're going to have a look at what happens when we heat a halogenoalkane with some potassium hydroxide that's been dissolved in ethanol. So there's no water in this mixture at all. And I'm just going to heat it. Um, and I'm expecting a gas is going to form and I will collect that here um, by displacement. So, I'll just let it bubble for a little bit so I don't collect a whole load of air. And now I'll start collecting and hope I'm getting the product of this reaction. See if I can get several tubes of gas. Try to be fairly cautious with this so it doesn't suck any water back. Okay, that's the second tube of gas collected. Let's try a third one. a third one. Let's give them a go. No, I don't think we've got enough for a third one. I'm going to just stop heating and lift this completely out of the water to stop any um, water sucking back into my um, hot boiling tube um, as it cools down. Right, I'll join you later so that I can test these with some bromine water and see if I can um, identify the gas I've collected. In this part of the experiment now, I'm going to try testing the gas that I've collected with some bromine water. So you um, perhaps can um, predict which, which type of um, molecule I'm expecting that I've formed for me to be wanting to test it with bromine water in the first place. Let's add a little bit in there. to shake up. And I think that's quite convincing. There's still a teeny little bit of yellow there, but I was quite heavy handed with the with the bromine water. But definitely it's um it's decolorized considerably from the first um, squirt that I that I put in there. So I think that's quite conclusive evidence about what kind of um, molecule I've collected as a product of this reaction.